Okay, I'm back. Uh, the problem with having a recording studio that is your cell phone is that you get calls from your wife on your cell phone, and so I had to take that. So we were kind of at a stopping point, right? We had said that we have... Um, we had this action potential, and we had said, what is the result of an action potential? It's the release of a neurotransmitter substance. And hey, look at that. Today, we're going to be talking about neurotransmitter substances. So it ends up, we got about a hundred of these, and you know about one of them already. You know about acetylcholine. And you might be saying, how, am I, how do I know about that? Muscles. Remember, muscles depend, a muscle contraction depends on, on acetylcholine. And so now, last semester, I just said acetylcholine comes across and binds to receptors um, on the muscle cell. And then I said it sends basically a nerve um, impulse across the surface of the muscle cell. So now you know it's sodium in, potassium out, sodium in, potassium out, you know, continuous conduction into that T-tubule, you know, resulting in, in the muscle contracting. All right, so, so we have about a hundred different neurotransmitter substances. And you're saying, oh my God, a hundred? You don't have to know a hundred. We will learn some of them, but you don't have to know a hundred of them. We'll talk about some of the main ones, though. And so we're talking about, um, and we're going to organize them by class. And what that means is chemical, how, what kind of chemical they're made of. And so acetylcholine is kind of in a class of its own, right? It's a, um, um, it consists of, an acetyl unit plus a choline. And so um, all motor neurons, so if, again, I said, what is a motor neuron? Oh, it, it uh, causes muscle contraction. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, some central nervous system neurons. Um, and it, um, it, it is made by combining um, acetic acid with a chemical called choline. Now, one of the things that I think I made reference to, but I didn't explicitly explain this, and so I need to, to say this in a very clear manner. Some um, neurotransmitter substances are excitatory. And what does that mean? That means it moves towards uh, depolarization. But then I'd also talked about um, hyperpolarizing neurotransmitter substances. And that means they're going to be moving away. So it, the logic in that, we said if you add 15 positive millivolts, you get to, you, um, you hit threshold, right? And so, so depolarizing neurotransmitter substances, excitatory neurotransmitter substances, are going to open channels for positive Cation, you know, for cations, positive ions. Now, in contrast to that, other kinds of neurotransmitters are going to open a different um, channels for different ions, for negative ions, for anions. So, so when we talk about acetylcholine, we said it's going to result in. Um, a muscle contracting, it is excitatory, it is depolarizing. All right, so, so we have acetylcholine, it's one of these that's going to open these sodium ion channels, the positive ion channels, and it's, they're going to bubble, um, bubble across um, that way. All right, so we then come to, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to stop right here. So these first two um, uh, video blogs are, the, are going to be related to really uh, that first slide only, but I think we've got about eight minutes total, and I, I'm going to start talking about a different category of chemical um, uh, amino acid-based 
a neurotransmitter substances, and we're going to have four of them we're going to talk about. So I'm going to have a separate, a separate little video blog starting uh, talking about them.